But I think, first of all, it's uh, to be celebrated that the DMA is coming finally into being, perhaps a bit too late. We have recognized that there are fundamental problems of lack of effective competition in some core elements of the digital sphere. It's difficult to have a new search engine, a new social network or an app store. And so the DMA has two fundamental provisions, one to make markets more contestable through interconnection, interoperability, data portability. And the other thing that we have understood also running cases in antitrust, which were far too long in recent years, is that there are these platforms which are sometimes both referee and players. They make markets, but they also participate by selling their own products, by promoting their own stuff. And so the second provision in the DMA is about making competition fair, which means specifically not to allow self-preferencing, not to allow discrimination. So these principles are good implementation. We'll see how it goes. Of course, uh, the, the devil is always in the detail. Is there room for improvement? Uh, I think so. A big miss in the original proposal of the DMA is about mergers. Mm, mergers. We know that the market power of these uh, digital giants has come from organic growth, which is good, but also through acquisitions. More than a thousand acquisitions by the GAFAM in the past 20 years. And instead, uh, the DMA doesn't say anything about mergers, perhaps leaving it to some other legal instruments to deal, but this is again going to come too late. Uh, a good aspect, though, is that through the discussion now in the European Parliament, we see that now a discussion about uh, mergers, not allowing mergers in the same fashion we have done until now, is finally on the table again. Something which is also missing is more structural remedies. Uh, in a sense, the all the DMA is, ban on a, is based on a set of rules that, sh that should be self-executing, so people, firms, should stop doing a certain behavior. But sometimes in the business model, it's inherent the incentive to behave in a certain way. You have the incentive to promote your own stuff. You have the incentive to exclude rivals. And so it will be difficult, actually, to take away the incentive. So some, sometimes structural sol solutions that can go, in some instances, as far as breaking up, they resolve the structural problem, which is at the basis of, uh, of some of the problems that we've seen in the past. And this is not really discussed. Even now, we discuss about, perhaps about mergers, but not about uh, structural remedies. Ein Angebot der Konrad-Adenauer-Stiftung.